Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury, and today guys, I am on the Paul Pluto channel, and I'm doing a paid review, this is for Daniel, this is paid review 21QB21, quick, 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 wristwatch check, what am I wearing today, Millie, the Milgaus, the Z Blue, this is one of my favourite contemporary sports Rolexes, love the blue, absolutely love the wind and wear flexibility of a no date, just minute, hour, seconds. No dates, no bezels, just wind and wear. Okay, let's jump straight in. This here was for a phone call. I had a phone call for a guy called Daniel. And he he sent me 50 bucks and he, he wanted a phone call. He's a really nice guy. I have actually spoken to Daniel in the past. His collection, it consisted of a Rolex Submarina 114060. That's the Ceramic, no date, uh, steel maxi case. He had a Jager Le Coultre Reverso Tribute with the blue dial. He had an Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch and a blank pane 50 Fathoms Bathyscape. Uh, now, he, he is a very kind guy. I've spoken to him a number of times. Uh, and what actually happened was... Um, he's, he's, I, I spoke to him, he wanted a phone call, and he, I, I basically, in the space of about four minutes, I realized something. He's a really nice guy. He's not an a-hole. And he said to me, he sold a few off, I thought, oh my god, I'm cringing, because he's just such a nice guy, he can't haggle hard. You've got to really have a massive ego, massive self-confidence. He just didn't have it. I can just tell you, he's the sort of guy who my best advice to him would be never sell anything you own because you cannot get full dollar. You can't get top whack for it because you're just such a nice guy. You believe the bullshit out of the, the dealer's mouth. Now... <clears throat> What he did tell me is he sold the JLC Tribute, the blue dial. He lost a bit of money. Uh, and he sold the Amiga Speedmaster Moonwatch. That was the new one. The new one. He sold it. He lost a bit of money as well. Not terrible. I think he lost $1,500 on the two watches, which I think he just needed to be a bit more nasty, a bit more vicious, you know, but... Anyhow, Lady Luck, Sean, the reason he sold those two was because his AD offered him a Rolex submarine... No, a Rolex Daytona, the steel black dial, not the Panda. Okay, the Panda would have been the hat trick, but the black dial is still a very, very, very desirable watch. So he's now got a situation where he's got the no-date sub. He has got the... Daytona, the Bathy Escape, and he's got a Nomos. I'm not even going to talk about the Nomos, but he had a Nomos. It's sentimental value. And I got to tell you, it was interesting because he's the sort of guy, you know, I was just talking to him. He's just a lovely sort of guy. And <clears throat> I really wanted him to, you know, I really wanted to say to him, you know what, get rid of the blank pain. Get yourself an Explorer 2. That way you have Diver, Chronograph, GMT with Rolex. But the problem is the guy is a softy. He's a nice guy. It's hard to get him to be a bit nasty. And that's the thing. If you are a nice guy in this game, please, you've got to realize your weaknesses. It's one of the... The important things to do is realize your weaknesses. If you're not a complete asshole, don't buy and sell watches. 
buy and hold. If you've got a bit of C in you, you can do the trading. And I, I got to be completely honest with you. This is the big problem. If you're not, you've got to know your limitations in life. Daniel's just a sweet sort of guy. He's the sort of guy you'd love your daughter to marry because he'd be a nice guy. He'd never cheat. He'd never do anything really bad. He'd always forgive her. You know, just a sweet, lovely man. But he's not the sort of guy who should be buying and selling. He should not be flipping rot watches because he's going to be taken advantage of. And I sort of said to him, he made a good comment. One of the other watches he really wants to get is a Patek Philippe. And I said, my, he's talking about a 5127, which I ha I've, owned, I've, owned a I've owned two 5127s. I've still got one. And I said, you know what? Don't get a 5127. Get a 5196. Why would I say that? Because it's got no date. It's a manual wind, wind and wear. You simply wind it, set the time, and off you go. You don't need to muck around with the date. Because that's where a lot of, on these really delicate high-end watches, that's where a lot of trouble comes in is from, I'm sort of anal, and I like the date to be right. I don't want the wrong date. He agreed with me. He said, yes, he understood exactly what I was talking about. <clears throat> and he said to me, yep, 100%. He knew exactly what I was trying to say there. And that's the whole thing. Uh, sometimes in life, it's good to have a wind and wear. Just wind and wear as your high end. And he, he, he I, I said to him, you know what? Keep your no-date sub. Keep never ever sell the Daytona. Even keep the Bathy Escape. The that's the blank pane, fifty fathoms Bathy Escape. Get yourself a paddock and be done. Just be happy. Somebody like this, he's just such a nice guy. He's not an asshole. He's not vicious enough. He's just a nice salt of the earth guy. And salt of the earth guys should not be selling their watches. They should be just staying with what they got, enjoying them, loving them, and moving forward. That's all they should do. They should never get, never get vicious. That's that's honestly my advice there. So, um, guys, that's my my video for Daniel. Very nice guy. And guys, I will see you in. The next one guys remember like subscribe tell your friends remember i can't survive on google ads alone i desperately need a paid review to keep me full time on youtube 50 us dollars look in the description order it now see you in the next one like subscribe and tell your friends and don't be afraid to get a paid review 50 us dollars for a paid review it helps me stay full time on youtube and i will see you in the next one 50 us dollars paid review i can't survive on google ads i need your support and guys you could also sponsor me on patreon patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on youtube Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.